Well, the 72nd Battle of the Axe between the Bemidji State football team and Minnesota State Moorhead had just a bit of everything. Plenty of turnovers throughout, fourth down conversions late in the game, and a thrilling game winner in the last minute of the fourth quarter. Things did not look good for the Beavers in the first half. Already down 12 zip, and then in the second quarter, BSU's punt is blocked. Thomas Meyer scoops and scores for the Dragons. Moorhead was up 19 to nothing at half, but a much needed response out of the gates for the Beaver offense. They drive down the field and get on the board. Brandon Alt finds Brennan Bolio for a touchdown. Next drive on fourth down and five, Alt finds Malik Williams for the first down, but Williams was thinking a little more. He makes a few Dragons miss and gets in the end zone to make it a one score game, 19 to 14. That would be the score late in the game in the fourth quarter. BSU faced with a fourth and four from the seven yard line. Just 45 seconds left and Alt finds Williams again in the back of the end zone. He just gets his feet in and the Beavers keep the ax in dramatic fashion. 22 unanswered points scored in the second half for the Beavers. The biggest of course coming on that Alt to Williams connection with under a minute left. It was uh, this coverage, like a twilight coverage. They run like a cover seven on the goal line. We've been repping it all practice, going against it between our scouts. And then coach just called my number for that play. And I just, at the moment, I just knew I had to go and make the play. Started to see, see like what backers start tightening down to him and what eyes directly went towards him. But I know with that kind of an athlete, I mean, you can just put the ball up and Leek will go get it. So it's kind of fun playing that kind of aspect of ball. When I heard it, it was a little you know, play pop, whatever it was down there. I'm like, oh boy, and I, I knew it. They were in exactly the covers that we thought we were going to get zone covers down there, and Brandon fit it in a tight window, so it was very reminiscent probably to, to the score probably against Augustana a few years ago. And yeah, a lot of great hair, great hair popping today. It was uh, a wild one. Next up for BSU, a tough road test this weekend with Duluth, who is ranked 16th in the country. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.